To some breaking news now, a Columbus Alternative High School teacher faces charges tonight. He's accused of taking upskirt videos of female students. Now, once the news came in, 10 TV's Richard Solomon read through the documents given to us from the Delaware County Common Pleas Court. Richard is joining us now live outside of the high school with what he's learned about all this. Richard? Well, Yolanda, Andrew, this is a very jarring situation. Just this afternoon, we learned through those documents that Justin Foley, a teacher here at Columbus Alternative High School, admitted that he recorded videos of students for the past seven years. Take a look at your screen. This is a picture of him. The last recording was as recent as last week. Now, those documents show from the police department received a tip on August 16th from the Ohio Internet Crime Children Task Force. The tip involved a Google account owned by Foley with 46 suspected child pornography image files. The documents say law enforcement found images of several teenage girls between the ages of 12 and 16. However, that isn't all that was uncovered. On August 25th, they identified more than 5,000 images of child abuse material and 166 video files of voyeuristic nature. The videos were recorded from women of various ages from department stores around Columbus, downtown Columbus public areas, near Ohio Wesleyan University, and an elementary school in Delaware. Richard, as you said, this is quite jarring. How is the school district responding tonight to this? Well, Andrew, just hours ago, the school district told us that they've already suspended Foley and they've begun the process in recommending his termination. Now, here is a quote that we received from a spokesperson from the district. They tell us in part, we are committed to the safety and well-being of our students. I can confirm that the district is aware of the arrest of Mr. Foley as a part of a police investigation, and we are cooperating with law enforcement. Now, the state has also recommended a $250,000 bond as well as no internet access, no contact with minors and GPS monitoring. And of course, this is a story that we will keep you updated on. Once we learn more, you can count on us for those updates. For now, reporting live outside of Columbus Alternative High School, I'm 10TV's Richard Solomon.